Hi everyone, Linda AK The Gamer Girl here, and I was tagged by Gaming Off The Grid, who was tagged by Riff from Pixel Game Squad, to do a challenge which is, what are the top five things currently in your game room? So let's crack a lack and let's get started. Now I will have to admit this was a very hard decision to make on just five items in my game room because of the fact that I looked around my game room and I had a lot of stuff, and I had a lot of things that were you know, memories and, and childhood and different things and what can I do that would be great and I realized a lot of people had done stuff that was important so I had to lump everything into one category because I didn't want to leave anybody out and that would be a travesty to me. Like, I, I can't do that. So there are many, many things that people have given me and I wanted to showcase that. So we're going to start off with the first category, which is gifts. I have many, many awesome people in my life. And those many, many awesome people, they supply me with games that they want to have me play and gifts for Christmas. So, you know, like Die Hard got me River City Girls because it was an awesome game. J-Love got me two games, uh, my childhood game that got stolen, and Mario Odyssey, and everybody chipped in. BK, T-Belly, Die Hard, Megadan, J-Love, Mustang, all chipped in to get me Animal Crossing, and T-Belly got me, you know, coasters and many, many things like that, that, you know, Breath of the Wild, I probably wouldn't have picked up. And it's the community like this that they supply you with stuff to show you that hey this is an awesome game hey I want to play this online and they didn't have to do that you didn't have to do that you didn't have to do that so that's why I lumped all the presents slash video games that I have gotten in my lifetime as part of the gifts and so anybody who has given me a video game whether it be like let me show you a prime example really quickly I'm off camera like Chris from Video Game Dust Leaves, who gave me some of his childhood video games, which he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to give me something that was part of his memories, and he wanted me to play it because he knew that I didn't have a lot of PC games, and these were hard to find. So he gave me something, they gave me something that I'm grateful for. So yes to video games being give, gifted, whether it be brand new, childhood memories or somebody else's childhood memories. So that's why I lumped the first category into one because I didn't want to leave anybody out. Okay, so this the next category is stuff people have given me, whether it be art projects or something to the effect of them making it by hand, which I really appreciate. So I have some buttons. Um, I don't know if you can see it. it Joe goes retro. And J Love gave me some buttons, and then I had one that um, I've gotten from Discart, and from Chris I got a pin, and then from, which is Dave, the Dave, not David from, you know, David plays retro games badly, but David, Dave, <laughs> the one that gave me the 3D printed disc, which I gotta get right now. I'm going off camera a lot, guys. Sorry. Let me show you this. So he gave me a 3D printed disc from his, it's it's a Mario Cube. And it's basically something from Emerald Coast Con that I never got, you know. And then next is the Atari Creep. He had a bunch of these that he was, you know, making and... I wanted a macabre, you know, I love Evil Dead, but it means even more because it came from Chris and he made it by hand. This is, he makes like die casts and, and different things by hand and I was like, dude, I'll pick one up, I'll get one from you. It's, it's, it's a blessing to have anything that's made by hand in my opinion. And just like, you know, stuff made by hand, Lacey took something that was awesome and made it even better. Lacey from Do You Nerd made me a Jason that is looking like an NES Jason to remind us all that I will get you in Friday the 13th. No, it's just a, a good memory of something that we all play and, and we all enjoy and 
we try to play every Sunday when we can. The next one is from Rihanna. She makes me sweet little stuff that is, you know, handmade drawings, different things like that. So Rihanna makes me something like her logo and this out for, sorry, for those who don't know, this is Chris from Video Game Death Sleeve's daughter. She is an awesome artist, just like his son, which I'm going to showcase in a minute. But he does stuff and she does stuff and I keep this in my game room. I hang them up. I put them different places. So sometimes in the background of my video, you'll see something like that where you'll see it in a corner or near the video games because I want to remind her that she did an awesome job. And just like him, I want to remind him that he did an awesome job too. Next is when I went to Siege, I got a beautiful gift from Caitlin. Caitlin did an amazing job where she drew me and J-Love and handed it to us at the convention. I was shocked. I didn't think I was going to get something. And she said, yeah, I'm going to give you something, but I didn't know it was going to be this awesome. It was so good to have. It was a blessing in itself where, you know, I didn't think anything of it where I was like, wow, you know, you, you made this by hand for me. I appreciate that so much to the point where... I keep it in my game room. It's somewhere where I can have it because I want to see it every time I walk into the game room. I look down, there's an art piece, I look up, there's a couple art pieces. And that's the whole point is I want to make sure that you are showcased, Caitlin, for your awesome, amazing work that you do. And I never want to forget that you are an amazing person and that this is truly a great gift that you gave me. Next is the art piece that is stuck on the wall. This is a Saints Row piece that our friend, the Renaissance man, made. Ren made this for me, and it's always on my wall. I never take it down. It's a great piece that he, by hand, drew and then painted, and it was an awesome piece that I've never, ever thought I would get from him because, you know, I asked him for something that I was out of his norm, and he pulled through and got it for me, so... This is right here an amazing art piece that I keep because of the fact that it's a game that I enjoy and also it's from an amazing person who does amazing work. And lastly is my Sonic the Hedgehog Perler piece. This one is near and dear to my heart because it comes from the great people that are the Game Hunters. For those who don't know, sadly the Game Hunters did a video which I always hate to see which is I am done doing YouTube. I am out of the game. I'm still going to be going to conventions. I'm still going to be doing other things. but I And that's why it means more to me is because of the fact that they decided that they're not going to do their YouTube channel anymore. And this will remind me of all the amazing times and memories that they had on their channel. And the fact that they took the time to build something for me that is why I'm going to keep this forever. Next on the list is all the amazing sleeves and stickers that I've gotten throughout my time at the conventions. So here is all the sleeves. These are sleeves that have been given to me by many, many various people. And also they are made by my friend, my friend Chris. So this is the reason why I like them even more is because they're handmade by my great friend Chris. And they also, you can look at them and go, that was a great memory. And here is something that his son made for me. This was one of those that you think, oh man, he drew something for me, handmade, drawn something for me that I can never repay because this was awesome. When I first saw this, I didn't think he was going to draw anything because, you know, when you first get something like this, you're like, wow, you hand drew this for me? You took the time out of your day to do that? I'm blessed that you did that for me, sir. So it's one of those things where <laughs> you remember memories. See, I'm even looking on the back and I'm remembering that he put that on the back. So this right here is a blessing to have so that when next time I go around, I see all the amazing people who were at the convention. I see all the amazing memories that I once had back then and they really are meaning a lot more now that we are in quarantined you know I'm sorry to remind you guys but yeah it, it means even more now that I've already missed 
about five, six conventions that I could have went to. And now I just, I have my memories and I watch my old videos of when we were going around and too many games and Siege and Emerald Coast Con. And when I went to different places and stuff like that, that, that meant a lot to me now and even more that we can't go. And once, I don't care what convention is the next one. If it's Midwest Gaming Classic for next year in 2021, I'm going to be there again because I want to go, I want to hand out all these sleeves and I want to get some more sleeves and I want to meet all the amazing people in that area because I had planned for that. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go there. And for those who don't know, I collect the stickers that I get from the conventions as well. So anybody who gives me a sticker or a pin or a pendant or anything like that either goes on my backpack or it goes on this wall and I keep it. Yes, it's a little banged up because um, I moved from Florida to Nevada and it didn't make it very well. It got crunched, but not so bad. So I had a bunch of people on here already before. And so like I have Do You Nerd, I have um, BP Retro Power, Gary, Tari Creep, and then I have a couple YouTubers that are awesome like uh, Sam Tabor, John Hill, Josh, buddy of mine, Russ Lyman, Central Pennsylvania Reviews, Mullet Boy, <laughs> and then I have Video Game Dust Sleeves, I have the podcast sticker, and then I have the one that uh, he did, Discart. So it's, it's just, it's awesome, and if you're ever at a convention and you have a sticker, Throw me one, throw me one, and I'll put it on the wall for sure. But yeah, this is another thing that I keep that is awesome. And I kind of like, you know, kind of like to have this here because it's another awesome memory. Now the next thing is a lava lamp that I got from Jim's Retro Zone. He gave me something for a contest and I didn't think it was going to be this awesome. It's really cool. It lights up. I know you can't see it very well in the, the light, but it multicolor itself. Yes. <laughs> so he is another one that stopped doing YouTube. I respect all everybody's decisions to do that, but it, it is truly sad that he stopped doing it because I would watch his videos. He was killer at a lot of Atari games that I, he'd go, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do this very well. And he would breeze through it like it was nothing. And I'm like, whoa, dude, you are so good at Atari games. I'm, I'm shocked. But yeah, he, he decided that he was no longer going to do it. Every now and then I see him on, on the channel because he has something he's really passionate about. And he'll throw a video on. But for the most part, he said that don't even bother subbing. I'm not going to make another channel. I'm not going to make another video. So yeah, I'm sad, but... I have this to remember everything and the channel and everything like that. So, yeah, buddy, if you're watching, Jim, I still have it. It still works, and I still, I still cherish it today. So, yeah, man, come on, make a video. So, lastly, is all my shirts from conventions and my buddies. Here's just a few. I couldn't grab every single thing. It'd be just too many. But yeah, like I have all my YouTuber um, shirts and then I have, you know, all my, you know, my shirts that are a lot to me, which is my cousin's band. I support him. He, he has an amazing band, guys. It's called the Rage Tones. Um, it's on my channel. Uh, if you look at the recommended pages, the Rage Tones, they did a tour. Unfortunately, I found out too late. And I couldn't go, but they were touring like California, Texas. They were around Colorado. They were around a lot of like amazing places that I wanted to go, but I found out too late. So next tour that they do, I'm definitely gonna be there for one of the dates, and I'm gonna catch a, I'm gonna catch one of them. So yeah, man, just just so many great YouTubers and great people that I have for everything. And that's the main reason is, is I support them and also I get an amazing shirt from my buddies and other YouTubers and my family that I, I support and it's just a blessing. I, I like t-shirts as you can tell in some of my videos you could see that I have a ton of t-shirts and that's the reason why is because I'm not a girly girl. I don't accessorize with other than my t-shirts and sometimes my shoes. I wear a lot of 
Adidas, you know, the 90s style Adidas, but other than that, that's how it is. So that is pretty much it, guys. I want to thank everybody for sticking with me on all of this. I want to thank Gaming Off The Grid for tagging me. I'm going to throw in the video description their original video, so if you want to check it out, go over there, support them, give them a like. Um, yeah, I don't... I, I don't know. I'm probably already late to the game on who I'm going to tag, so I'm just going to leave it an open tag for anybody who wants to make the video, for sure. Go for it. Uh, yeah, do that. But I am going to tag my people. Now, if you've already been tagged, you don't have to make a video again, but I just want to see what everybody's got in their game room. So, Atari Creep, what are the top five items in your retro game area. I want to know. Edwin Padilla aka Quesadilla Padilla. I want to know what you have in your game room sir. And Bones Z06. What are the top five in your game room? So I tagged three people that I hoped did not get tagged in the tag fest that happens every time but if you guys were already tagged, no worries, you don't have to make another video and choose five more. But if you were not tagged, come on guys, I want to see what is in your game room. So please, keep the chain going. And remember, keep on gaming everybody. Stay safe out there. And just keep yourself busy. Find a backlog of games, play, watch some movies. So thank you for watching. If you're new, please hit the sub button. Helps out the channel. And I'll catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.